after about six years of teaching photoshop to millions of people on youtube i finally got to organize a workshop and i'm excited to share the story with you today this isn't just any workshop it's a journey that started with a single message from a subscriber who happened to be a Ghanaian living in the uk and this has led to the extraordinary in-person encounter that i'm going to share with you today But you see, this story isn't just about me. It's about the power of sharing what you know and how your passion can ignite change. Not just for you, but for others too. As you watch this video, let it remind you that your skills and passion hold the potential to inspire and then transform. So don't hesitate to share them. Now, let's get into the genesis of how this incredible story began. Two years ago, I received a message from a subscriber. A Ghanaian pastor living in the UK. He admired my Photoshop tutorials on YouTube and expressed that we have a one on one training. In 2021, we began an online classes and I helped him develop his Photoshop skills. Fast forward to 2023, he has invited me to conduct an in person workshop for his church's media in Tema, Ghana. So, in this video, I'm going to take you along on this amazing journey. As I packed my bags, I was reflecting on how a simple online connection could lead to something extraordinary. It reminded me that teaching others what you know is a powerful way to share your passion and make a difference in their lives. Each of us possesses a unique treasure trove of knowledge and we should never hesitate to share it. Alright, so the bags were packed and it was time to hit the road. I said farewell to Kumasi and I set off for Tema. Within hours, I was in Accra, Ghana. Now, you see, Accra and traffic, eh? they are practically inseparable. It's an adventure in itself. We we'll talk about that later. But you can't help it when you love Accra. It's a city pulsing with life and energy. The vibrant streets, the honking horns. It's kind of like a stepping stone into a whole new world. Whenever I'm in Accra, per se, I personally get nervous whenever I'm going out because of traffic. In a few hours, I was already on my way to Tema. And upon arriving in Tema, I was warmly welcomed by the pastor and the amazing church leadership. Despite never having met in person before, it felt like reuniting with old friends. That's the magic of a genuine connection forged through shared passions. After exchanging pleasantries, I was led to the home where I'll be staying or where it's going to be my home for the next two days. And of course, I decided to do a little room tour. After settling in, I met the media team and gave them an introduction to what they could expect the following day. Unfortunately, due to stress, I forgot to hit the record button. My apologies, but hey, we are all humans, right? Now, it was time to reach out. They say a journey is best measured in friends, not miles. The warmth of the people I met today made me feel right at home. Speaking of feeling at home, dinner was served and let me tell you, the food was amazing. Imagine a professional chef preparing this incredible meal just for you. I literally ate everything. Afterward, it was time to recharge for the big day ahead. I went into bed filled with excitement and gratitude for the experiences awaiting me. 
one thing about me is that i always get thrilled to share what i know with others a passion that started back in primary school in the following day we are going to dive into the world of photoshop and i can't wait to share some incredible techniques with you all so for now it's good night from tema and i'll catch you all bright and early for an unforgettable day stay tuned yeah good morning good morning guys so this is the first morning so the day is finally here today is where i'm going to make presentation let me let me see if i have more lights for you. all right so it's morning and i need to get ready finish my presentation my slides that i'm going to use for the presentation and then generally just get ready to make my presentation today oh the workshop i'm so excited let me take you along As I got ready, I was feeling both nervous and excited. Teaching Photoshop to millions of people online had become my comfort zone, but this is in person and this was a kind of a new whole chapter. Don't get me wrong, I've been teaching Photoshop to people in person before, but this whole thing was kind of like a new thing to me. The media team whom I had the pleasure of meeting the previous day greeted me with smiles that matched my excitement. They were ready, eager and expectant and I could feel that this was fueled by the taste of what was to come from my introduction the previous day. And then we are going to pick out the things that we use on those flies. We have a shared So the assets on those flies, we are going to look at them. So if you are, for some of you, your flyer may have two images. Your flyers may have like three images, one image, what I said. So you plan your design and then you find your assets, your images, your test, your design elements. And then you are going to create layouts using those assets. As I began to teach, I realized that this wasn't just about me imparting knowledge. It was a shared passion that brought us all together. The room was filled with energy and I couldn't help but be inspired by their enthusiasm and eagerness to learn. So what is the purpose and objective of your flyer? You need to define it. You need to know it. Are you promoting an upcoming event? Is, is it even for or even when we are doing? Is it an invitation? Is it, is it a partner? What is the purpose of your flyer? When you clearly understand your goals, it will guide the design decision and ensure that the flyer is effectively communicated. Yesterday I was telling you that whenever you are designing, you design with the audience or your end user in mind. It's when you understand what you want to do, you are able to execute your fire very nicely. But you don't just wake up, oh sorry, and nah, then you are going to design. You clearly set your goals. The purpose of your design, Alice. Now, yesterday I mentioned it. Alice play an important role in fire design. It strikes emotions psychologically. Alice, we are when we see a sort of we see a sort of open our own TVC area. And go people go a bit more than and then all people will play here. Why? Because it's very important. We had an incredible session and it was all joy to witness the participants discover their creative potential. It was a day of learning, sharing and growth. An experience that reminded me why I love what I do. Actually, on this right side, 
el estilo nace, la idea para nace el hombre fatal. The other idea is the Nina is on the back. And on top here, we have the tabs and the commands. So for every tab that you click on here, we are going to have different commands and it helps us create our files. But you have to ask me, in a nutshell, sound of for me and sound any other way. The participants learned some newfound skills and their confidence level was high and I couldn't have been prouder. They were so immersed in the session that at some point they refused to go to break. So about 8 hours we concluded the workshop and the room was filled with smiles and a sense of fulfillment. Witnessing the designs they created in just a day with some of them entirely new to Photoshop was truly remarkable and I felt so proud that I could share my passion with other people. And you know, this is the power of having the right instructor, someone who not only imparts knowledge but also inspires, guides and unleashes your creativity. It's a reminder that when you are learning something new, having the right mentor or the right person to take you through can make all the difference. And yes, that's the story of the journey that began with a simple message which has now taken on a life on its own. This is a testament to the power of passion, the thrill of taking a leap and the joy of sharing your knowledge with the world. This day reminded me why I embarked on this journey and why I will continue to inspire and be inspired. I hope this story inspires you to embrace your skills and share your passions. Understand that you need to live fearlessly because your journey might just inspire another. On that note, I would love to organize a similar workshop for my subscribers. Let me know if you are interested and together we can make this happen. Thanks so much for taking your time to watch this video. Remember that the world is awaiting for your knowledge and your passion. So don't hold it back. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.